Welcome to this tutorial on making the most of your feedback from the University of Reading Study Advice team. The tutorial is designed for you to go through at your own pace and you can pause it at any time. Often, your first reaction when you get a piece of work back is to look straight at the grade and then be elated or disappointed. If it's a good mark, you celebrate and move on. And if it isn't as good as you hoped, you put it in a drawer and don't want to look at it again. Either way, you may be missing out on valuable feedback to help improve your skills and marks. You may not want to, but facing the feedback monster and reading the comments on your work carefully is never as bad as you fear, and is usually really useful. Feedback comments aren't a personal attack or a comment on your overall ability or intelligence. Instead, think of feedback as objective advice based on the criteria of the assessment. Once you've read through the comments, the next step to making the most of your feedback is to select one or two specific things to work on for next time. This gives you a clear aim and it means you aren't trying to work on everything all at once. Often your feedback will tell you what to improve, but it won't always tell you how to do this, as it's your responsibility to find out the best ways for you to develop. This means getting informed and planning what to do next. For example, your feedback might say that you need to show evidence of wider reading to improve your marks. You reflect on this and realise that the issue is you don't leave enough time to read beyond the recommended texts. And also, you aren't confident in finding journal articles. To address this, you decide to see a study advisor for strategies for planning your time better, and also to look at online guides from the library website for advice on searching for articles. Then you try putting this into practice for your next assignment. If you've tried understanding your feedback comments, but there are still some areas that you're not sure about, do ask your lecturer. See if you can see them during their office hours, or sometimes they will put on more time slots, especially to go through feedback. Make the most of these opportunities to talk through your feedback face to face with your marker, as it will give you more insights into what your markers are looking for and how to put that into practice. If you feel you haven't got enough feedback to help you improve, check that you are spotting all the different kinds of feedback you may have. Feedback comes in many forms, not just written comments on assignments. It may be group feedback to the whole class given orally in a lecture or seminar, advice on how to tackle future assignments, screencasts, podcasts, or recommendations of useful resources made by your marker. If you still feel that feedback is lacking, ask your marker for advice. Often going to see them during their appropriate office hours gives more detailed and personal feedback than via email. Give yourself time to put your feedback into practice. Adapting how you study in response to feedback is the best way to develop, but like changing anything we do, it can take some trial and error. For example, you might plan your time better to do additional wider reading, but the first time you do this it leads to being overwhelmed by the wealth of extra material. But after that experience, the next time you handle it better and learn to be more selective in how you use the reading. Observe what works for you and keep doing this and alter the strategies that aren't quite working. You can also come to study advice for help with adapting your study strategies. So to summarise, face the feedback monster and read your comments. Select one or two things to work on for next time and plan specifically how you'll do this. Get advice if you don't understand your feedback. Take appropriate opportunities to talk through your feedback with your marker. And give yourself time to adapt your strategies in response to feedback. And all this will help to tame that feedback monster. <laughs>